We'll have to wait. We'll just have to wait and see if we can. Because if we can... Oh, 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 okay. You're there, guys. What is up, Loot Games? And today, we're back on Trari. Today, we're going to be doing the glitch video last time. But today... After a massive voting of you guys wanting to see the Meow Mare with this glitch, we're going to do it today. Now, if you do not know what glitch I'm on about, it's the glitch where when you use the Vortex Beta and any other weapon, it mainly works best for projectile weapons, but Vortex Beta plus any other weapon, you put it on your D-pad. If you don't know how to activate that, you go into controls and then you can go all the way down where it says quick navigation and make sure you've got D-pad hotbar on and then it will allow you to do this. Now from here, all you need to do is go up or whichever way you want and left. Left, which I choose up and left because it's easier for me. So you go up and then you fire your vortex beta and then you go left and boom, look at that guy. <laughs> that is insane. I kid you not, guys. That is got to be the most craziest thing I have seen today. So we're going to use this today and we're going to fight some bosses and we're also going to fight the one and only Nautilus Presence, which summons in the Frost Moon. So we're going to try that tonight. Let's get forward to night time. And I'll see you then, guys. Let's do this. And just before we move on, I just wanted to show you this. Look at this staff of the Frost Hydras. And they actually all work as well. And you can have unlimited staff of the Frost Hydras, which is insane. So if you do want to see a video on this versus bosses, then I might put it against, like, do fish run and things like that. If you do want to see that, then smash like on this video and let me know in the comment section what you want to see. So I thought I'd actually start this video out strong and try fights. The Moon Lord. Now, I don't know how this is going to go because, again, I've not actually tried fighting the Moon Lord with this. But, I mean, it's going to be insane. We are in expert mode, so I can expect myself to die because I've got no uh, protection. But we'll just see how it goes. If I die, I die. I'm just waiting for night time so I can fight the hard mode bosses. But I thought I'd start off strong and do this. So, we've got to wait for the impending doom to approach. And as soon as it approaches... We're going to pounce on it with the Miami. Oh, this is going to get intense, honestly. This is really going to get intense. Any second is going crazy. Three, two, one, and Moon Lord. No, okay. No, that was really bad timing. Boom, here he is. Right, here we go. Let's have a look how much damage we can do to this then. Come on, this is expert mode, remember, guys. So it's going to be very, very hard. Right, let's get his other hand. His other hand is in check. Right, here we go. And the Meow Mia is going crazy right now. We already need to heal up for some reason. I don't know why. All right, let's go. Let's heal up. Oh, God. We're going to get the glitch in play again. Right, there we go. It's in play again. We've got his hand. We had... What? We've actually took taken him down quite fast. But the problem is... Is... Uh, <laughs> we have no protection from him. That is insane. Oh, my. I feel like I want to try that again. Because we actually teared through him right there. The problem was... I don't have a lot of regeneration... And I think if we get a bit of regeneration, we could easily kill him. Like, no problem. I mean, maybe better accessories might do. The Worm Scarf could be a massive help. Because the Worm Scarf does 17% more dam less damage or something. Which is crazy. So yeah, I, I might go grab a Worm Scarf and then give it another go. Okay, so I've decided to come to the ocean to fight Duke Fishron. Now, this is going to be an interesting fight. Because Duke Fishron is quite hard. And I think we can use this glitch to summon in multiple Duke Fish runs. Now, I want to give it a go just in case you can. Because I don't actually know if you can or can't. But here we go. Let's have a look. Yeah, okay. Now, we've got to see if we can actually pull this in. Because I don't know if we can or can't. We'll have to wait. We'll just have to wait and see if we can. Because if we can... Oh, oh, oh okay. We can. <laughs> Which means... Oh, no. Um, Right then. Let's do this. Ready, guys? Oh, there we go. There we go. We've got all the Duke Fish runs there. They're going to go crazy. And we can't go out. I just remembered. Oh, no. This is going to be insane. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Let's zoom out so we can see a bit more. Oh, no. The glitch isn't active anymore. There we go. Got it. Got it again. Got it again. Oh, man. This is insane, man. Seriously, it is. Oh, the, some of them are going to raise and some of them aren't. Oh, there, there we go. Can we, can we actually kill any of them? Can we kill any of them? Maybe it was a bad idea to fight this many. Especially with where we are at the minute. Right, heal, 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 heal. There we go. We got healing. We got healing, but it's not going to be any good. I think we're going to die. We're going to die. <laughs> really? Come on. No. No, we can't. <laughs> but if you do have a good arena, that would be amazing. Oh, my. What we need to do is set up a proper arena with that. I just wanted to see if that worked. And it did. Oh, but versus one Duke Fish run, you'll be completely fine. But when you find about 50,000 Duke Fish runs, I don't think it's a good idea at all to do that. So you know what? 
I feel like we should go and kill the lunatic cultists because this video today is not gone quite to plan. I thought I'd live a little bit longer, but the worm scoff is taking like 70% less damage. But apart from that, we're <laughs> I don't think you're going to survive that many Duke fish runs. No, no one's going to survive that many unless you have like the last prism or something and did something crazy with that or the terrarian, which I'm thinking of using this with the terrarian. Which I think will be make an amazing weapon. It really would. Right, Lunatic Cultists are right here. Let's take them down. Let's get the glitch active. Here we go. Ready for this? Right, here we go. Oh, can, can we get him? Can we get him before he even spawns? I don't know. Can we, can we like, do like stack damage on him? We can't do stack damage on him. But look at that. That is doing some mega damage right there, guys. Oh, my. I'm not even joking. We've almost... What's this sex book mode? No way. He's done. He's actually done. <laughs> He's actually done. Oh, no way did that just happen. He got wrecked. Now, this is where you can absolutely destroy the... Because, of course, the Meow Mears bounce around like crazy. But you can destroy the pillars. No problem. Now, where is the pillar actually spawned? Over here, I suppose. Yeah, okay. Because these bounce around so much. And you're using the Vortex Beta. You're not even going to get hit, to be fair. You're really not. Like, seriously, you can literally sit here and just do this. <laughs> just hope for the best. Or you can look for the enemies, because they they've spawned in quite an awkward area. But, I mean, with this, you can just spam it. I'm actually if there was a scar above us. But we're doing, like, a 1,000 damage sometimes per hit, which is crazy. Seriously, it's insane. But it just cuts right through them. It really does. I know it's like an endgame Moonlord weapon, and it does a lot of damage. But, seriously, guys... It's just insane. <laughs> We're just going to tear through them all. Tear through them all. Okay. There's more appearing on top. That's going to be good. Let's take these ones down as well. Right in the cracks there. No problem. We destroyed them. No problem for us. Now, we are using uh, cursed bullets. I did say last time that I was using chlorified bullets. And I meant cursed bullets. But I said chlorified bullets. But the chlorified bullets would uh, zoom in on enemies. I'm pretty sure it works with any bullet. But, yeah, this is absolutely crazy. And the meows are getting intense now. So if you like intense meows, this one's for you guys. This one is definitely for you. <laughs> but there we are. This is spawning in such an awkward position because a lot of the enemies are actually falling down into the holes so that we can't actually <laughs> see them or attack them. But let's just have one last look over here to see if any of them are spawned in the dungeon area, which they haven't. So let's just head back over here. And it looks like more are spawning now, which is good. And again, this is expert mode. But still, this is just tearing right through. <laughs> and this is pillar number one going down. <laughs> and there we go. It comes down with me. These expert mode pillars can be crazy. Honestly, they can be insane. And we've just cut right through their defenses. We killed about 50 million in that as well, which is crazy. And we could go collect our fortune of vortex fragments. Which, of course, is to make a Vortex Beat so we can make more of these. Maybe use a Vortex Beater with a Vortex Beater. Okay, so here we are with our second pillar, which is actually the Solar Pillar, which is one of my favorite. I feel like this pillar is just, I don't know, I just love it. And again, enemies are not going to get anywhere close to us when doing this. Because we're just tearing right through them. And they're just coming down like flies right now. Apparently, if, the, if you do stay on the ground as well, the worms can't actually get you. But we was just... Really? We were dropped by a Vortex rocket. Wait, a Vortex rocket? Really? We, which enemy does a Vortex rocket then? We, we, we were dropped, boy. We, we were dropped faster. Faster than when we <laughs> fought the Moon Lord. Look at that, boy. Right, it's actually nighttime as well. So let's get some bosses in. Let's do this. Let's have a, a boss mashing madness. Here we go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. There we are. Look at that. I want to get some health back. So this is how you get health back fast. Okay. So we'll focus on the twins for the staff. There we go. Focus on one twin. One twin down. Focus on the second twin. Second twin. Oh, destroy defeated. Wait, where's the destroyer gone? We need to find the destroyer so we can get the health. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is how I heal up, guys. No, none of that. None of that healing business. Now, we don't need healing potions. Forget those. We're going straight. Straight in for the kills. And there they've gone. All three bosses absolutely destroyed. Now, someone asked me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we just got turned into a pile of flesh by the Meowmere. We got killed by our own Meowmere. What? Oh, okay. 
Do, do they deflect bullets sometimes then? That's how I got killed then, didn't I? <laughs> That's how I got killed. They must deflect bullets sometimes. Anyway, like I was saying, <laughs> we absolutely destroyed those guys. They, they went down like a box of old eggs. That's what I'm talking about. Right, yeah, they must deflect bullets or something because Am Yaomir were just doing damage to them. And I don't know. It just seemed like they deflected my bullet and I got killed by my own Meowmir. Which doesn't actually make sense. So they must deal back the damage. And that's where the Vortex one must have come from. I, I could have sworn that's, that's where it must have come from. Because honestly, we're, we're not getting hit by anything here. Like nothing that whatsoever is attacking us right now. We're just like tearing through them all. Uh, <laughs> again, I've got killed by my own Meowmir. These must have some sort of deflectability or something. What? How, what? <laughs> I was ruptured by my own Meow Meow. Do, do the bullets go... Uh, do, do they go enemy after a while or something? How do I keep getting killed by my own Meow Meow? Come on, give me a break. Okay, so we're going to finish this off with the Frostman. I haven't, I haven't quite cleared out the, the pillars yet, but I might save that. I'm thinking I might save that for the next video, but we're going to try and get through the waves of enemies as fast as we can with this Meow Meow and just see how fast these go down because they're going to go fast. Trust me. We're going to just tear through a lot of them. And, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it with the Staff of the Frost Hider next time. And see how that can do against the waves of enemies. I don't want to fight against the Moon Lord, so we're going to save that till next time. But let's just see how far we can get through these waves. Because, of course, it's been night time for quite a while now. So we're just going to tear through them as much as we can. We can't even use healing pots either. So we're just going <laughs> to live through this as much as we can. We do have some of the healing potions here. We're on wave 8 already. Which is crazy. With a proper arena, I reckon we could proper destroy these. There we go. Santa NK down. He is down. <laughs> Look at him. He's coming down. As they come back as well, they'll do mega damage to him. I don't know if they're going to bounce back from there, though. Well, they're bouncing back from there, definitely. Look at that. It's just Wyverns again, as more than anything. <laughs> just Wyverns. Yeah, the Santa MK is going down like mad. Look at that. Boom, you're done for. We're on wave 11 already. I think that's the fastest. I've ever got to wave 11. Like, ever, ever, ever. We've got some yo-yos on the... We've got, like, three yo-yos on the floor as well. It's insane. We have to feed 50 zombie owls already. And, no, I haven't actually done the event with this at all. So, yeah, the Frost Queen is inbound now, though. So, it might start doing a lot more damage to us. But, yeah, let's get the Vortex Beater on lockdown. Let's do this. They are quite hard on Expo mode, aren't they? The Ice Queen. There we go. Ice Queen down. Oh, and we go. That, that, that might be good. Snowman cannon. Imagine that with this. Oh, this is going to be insane. <laughs> there we go, anyway. We defeat the Ice Queen. We've got a drop right there. Let's get on our pony. I want to get on my pony while I want to fire this, okay? Right, let's <laughs> fire these on my pony. We've got a Yeti right there. We should start getting loads of Yetis now because we are in the way of that. I didn't say Nettis. I said Yetis, guys. And we. <laughs> <laughs> We've destroyed by the Ice Queen. Those frost waves are deadly on this mode. But yeah, get a few of your friends and you can tear through this event. We are 98% through wave 12. Let's see. We've not got too long of the frost moon left. So when we spawn, let's see how far we can get through it. So let's keep firing up. Let's see what we can do. Let's focus on this Ice Queen. There we go. Do some crits, please. I'd appreciate some crits right now. Come on, do some critical damage. We need some of that critical. There we go. Lovely. Go get the life as well. So we can life regen. There is constantly queens now, it looks like. And constant yetis as well. <laughs> not good. Not good. Not good. Not good at all. We're going to focus on the queens only, though. I think if we can take the queens down, pretty much, everything else will come down automatically. Almost. <laughs> look at look. We're, we're, we're just bossing through the waves. We're bossing through the waves. No problem. As long as we... Yeah, that, let's see what I mean. I've got this under control now. So you do it. Focus, 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 focus. And in three, two, one, done for. That's it. <laughs> and we got a blizzard staff from that. Sweet. Look at all these yetis, though. So many yetis. We go. Take down the center MK1. Done for. Right, let's pick up all the life as well. We're on wave 15 right now. I believe this goes up to wave 20, doesn't it? Wave 15, just one person. No traps. But with this glitch, wave 20. And now we have two frost queens. So we've got to focus on those, like proper a lot <laughs> like a lot a lot it might be worth using the destroyer emblem instead of the skull although saying that with with the scarf we'll probably be destroyed faster won't we so yeah it's not gonna help that much we go oh oh i thought i just got killed oh i was gonna say 
I just got stuck. I was gonna say, oh, that destroyed me. Oh no, we've been turned into ice. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> Okay, so when you put blocks on your thing, you need to be very, very careful. Because the way I want to get to wave 20 and we've, we've not got that long left. Oh no, they're flying away. Well, the Santa MK1 staying there, so maybe maybe it's not finished yet. St is it still on? Is the event still on or are they gone? They've gone home, haven't they? They've gone home for the dinner. They've gone home for the tea. <laughs> but there we go, guys. That has been it today. This has been an insane video, honestly, with Trident versus Duke, which we did die because of the amount of summons. I think if it was one Duke, you know, I might finish this video on killing Duke. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do that, actually. We'll finish this video on killing Duke. Just one of them. It'll be much easier, like I say, because... <laughs> We sort of messed it up. But yeah, it's been insane today, guys. If you have enjoyed, please do smash that like button. And do f share this with your friends. We'll get it out there. Like, should we just destroy this pillar quickly? Why not? I'm sure we've almost done this pillar. Like, the thing is, I keep dying by my own my own weapon. Which is like madness to me. I don't even know. But we have, we've got to be close to finishing this pillar, surely. Honestly, I've I got I to gotta say, like, there's so many enemies that have been destroyed in this pillar. That I feel like it's going to end soon. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it there. Please do leave a like, rate, and subscribe. Stay frosty, and peace.